lot of people that have moved to the uk this period guys eh? i'm seeing relocation vlogs and i'm happy for everybody welcome welcome to the welcome to the club guys welcome come and join us <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel my name is chinedo i'm an international student studying msc occupational ther sorry <laughs> studying msc occupational therapy here in the uk if you're new here do not make it your last guys do like subscribe and share my videos and if you're a returning subscriber hi guys thank you for always coming back okay guys so i've been looking to do this video since because the amount of people moving into the uk the amount of people that have moved to the uk this period guys eh? It's not shocking me, but yeah, like a lot of people have moved into, I've moved to the UK, I'm seeing relocation vlogs, and I'm happy for everybody. Welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the club, guys. Welcome, come and join us. It's been like Jabba season for like the past five, six years. It's just that now, it's just been so obvious, because everybody now knows people that are moving. But I think a lot of people have been relocating from like five years ago, six years ago. So it's nothing new, but like now, the numbers now, they are a lot something was trending on twitter half people were talking about oh when you come to the uk you're doing menial job how can you quit your how many thousand naira job in nigeria and come to the uk you're doing menial job you're doing healthcare assistant you're doing healthcare assistant you're doing postman you're they're just talking about menial jobs and i'm like when you come to a place guys you're going to have to you know do a lot of things before you balance unless you have a lot of money and mind you a lot of people relocate through other means there's not just school there are people that their company they bring them to the uk or they get a job direct and when they come they're already balanced so you're going to have to have baby steps you're going to have to start small you're going to have to do any type of job that you're going to do just so you you get a hang of it but then in the end you will balance that's what i always say you're going to balance i think the job thing is a personal decision there are people that I know that even if Nigeria is on fire, like even if the fire is in front of their house, as long as they can stay under their house, they will not move because that's how much they love Nigeria. And the people I know that they're already in that stage where they're like, I'm not going to stay in this country. This country is no longer serving me. And that's not a bad thing. Like pounds now is eight sixteen eight as of yesterday that I checked. So and then a lot of things are happening, insecurities, kidnapping. When you look at all of this, you'll be like, What am I doing here? I would want to move. So I think it's just a personal thing and if people are moving, do not discourage them, don't tell them, oh, you go there, you suffer. Guys, everywhere, suffer, they everywhere. You suffer in Nigeria, you suffer in the UK, you suffer is everywhere. The only thing you should do is just to plan yourself ahead and to actually do your own research because this country will shock you. <laughs> But because I know a lot of YouTubers I'm talking about the struggles of being in the UK. So I think everybody knows like what to expect. You know that there's no money on the tree. You know that before you balance that you will take a while. You know that you will do like some type of job unless you really have a job directly or your company, you know, brought you here in the UK. But on Twitter people are just talking about it. How can you quit your job? Why would you come to the UK and you're struggling? Guys, the thing is people are talking about how even though you're earning in pounds you're going to be spending in pounds in the uk which is all right it would have been easier if you're earning in pounds and you're spending naira guys if you tell you twenty thousand naira you'd be like that's like how many pounds so my own is like honestly with the way things are even in the uk we're talking about what we're shouting about inflation rates is everywhere but i think it's just an individual thing for people to be able to decide what they want to do i do not like when people are moving people are telling them oh don't come oh don't come oh. Guys, if someone is calling me and telling me, oh, I'm coming to the UK, what do you think? I'm always like, mm, it depends. What are you coming as? What are you coming for? What do you get? And I'll give you like the proper advice that you should know. But I'm not having the place I'm telling you, oh, do not call me. But, like, there are people that this country have changed their life. And there are people in Nigeria that they will not leave because they are seeing money in Nigeria. My own standard is always, if you're seeing like big money in Nigeria, mm, then there's no point coming to the UK you know people are doing it for their children people like they're like i'm doing it for my children it's not about me do you get you understand that they're doing it for their children it's not about them anymore but i always say if you like you see money in nigeria like good amount of money good amount of money and you can afford luxury like traveling as a luxury going to different countries you apply for visa you get it then you might not really need the uk but if you know that if you're in nigeria like it's a struggle then you can just save money and move because guys i tell you there's nothing you cannot afford in the UK. I'm not talking about getting credit card, credit card and the rest, and you know, the amount of finance that are here, are available here. I'm talking about 
if you want to buy one like something big and you know you know that you can go to work and they pay hundred and something pounds and you buy it like is how is that opportunity is that how flexible that is like the nigeria people that are doing menial jobs in nigeria they don't even eat well but here if you're doing menial job you know that you can sustain on that like you're happily living well so yeah that's the problem if you know in nigeria that you're really struggling and you're thinking about moving guy move but if you know that oh you're just moving here because you feel like you just want to come abroad you take pictures they are nice guys that's another problem because you're going to struggle here it's not the same thing there's no friend you're going to be lonely here number one that's the biggest you're going to be lonely you're going to do things yourself there are no helps there are no housemates so i tell people that have children that really support themselves in nigeria they have help they have nannies you have cook then you might struggle here because to afford those things they are expensive unless you're a rich person then you don't have anything to worry about but if not just stay back home <laughs> so this is on the grounds that i'm putting it then if people decide that they are moving just and someone comes to you just, just tell them the truth and let people be let people be like let them be it's not your decision it's not about you if you're not asked do not say and if your friend is looking and they don't tell you that's all right you might be their village people <laughs> like people just take too many things too too personal and people are just, i feel like it's just expectations like you're expecting that oh she should tell me she should put me on the note like if they don't tell you maybe they don't rate to you or maybe you're not really their friend have you thought about that so yeah or maybe if they tell you they don't like the answer you give them because people don't like telling people things and then you take it you give like a bad advice or you're not giving them the same vibe and you're making them think about their life they're like no they will not tell you until they're sure that this is going to pull through so yeah guys just let people be in your jabba season if you want to jabba my honest advice is that you plan it you think about it properly you save up money because the problem is when you come accommodation is the biggest problem if you don't set your accommodation from nigeria you struggle you struggle because by the time they tell you to get guarantor especially if you're coming your family you might really struggle with accommodation so the advice is always to save like three months money that would do you Bible saying like six months now because three months is nothing by the time you come all the money is going to naira. <laughs> it has finished i have a friend she got accommodation from nigeria she didn't see the house but she had a friend in the same city they saw it the other people that they did not see the house but like it was manageable they paid for three months up front where they can manage so when they come they're looking for other places so guys are things you're supposed to set so settle accommodation settle accommodation settle accommodation because that's where you will not be sleeping under the tree people are calling saying that somebody's stranded in the airport why why would you do that to yourself don't come and be saying oh no problem it's not uk we'll just enter no nobody's going to help you here people are busy so if you know you want to jack bar plan it well and jabba because to be honest if you don't like nigeria you don't like nigeria so it's just an individual thing if you know you want to jabba jabba in peace don't let people discourage you and honestly you'll never know until you try if you jabba and you don't like you can always you can always move back that's the thing you have the flexibility of always moving back i don't know why people just frown at you when someone says they're moving back to nigeria like the amount of surprise people get you know how when you say you're moving to the uk and people are happy for you when you now say you're moving back to nigeria it's like why are you doing that that's bad don't do that like someone has tried this they've tried this soup they don't like this soup they want to go and try the other soup if i didn't come to the uk guys i would have still been in nigeria i'd be like oh i must come to the uk so now if i said i'm going to move back to nigeria i think it's because i've also tried the uk and i'm like okay no i think i no longer want to be here it's just the same thing but people frown at it. like it's bad that because of the way people at home will tell you why you're moving back you stay here suffering that's not nice i rather you have like you're happy within no matter where you are than just staying here because people back home will tell you why did you move back guys just you know hold your shame it's not that serious it's not that deep in the end it's just you and your family in the end it's just doing what is best for you all right do not try to go out of your way because you want to stay back in the uk and you're struggling if you need to move back to nigeria move back to nigeria if you feel like oh you have a better life in nigeria and your job is still waiting for you there why not take that option guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel guys please like to get to 500 subscribers now is like work guys subscribe to my channel like my videos and please subscribe guys subscribe it's very personal it's important that you do and if you're looking to come and study in the uk guys study occupational therapy 
I'm holding you. I'm holding your ear. Tell your personal therapy. Okay. Bye guys. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you.